Hi everybody, it's Saturday morning. This is a special Vino Mexico. This is our channel update, the first channel update that we've done just to give you, our viewers and subscribers, a little bit more information about who we are, where we're going and what we're doing. So as you can see, the view has suddenly changed. Um, this is because we started off this video a little over two months ago and we were filming on my iPad, my iPad Mini 4, which has lots and lots of <sighs> cracks and breaks all over it. Luckily not over the, the camera lens, so that worked well. However, recently we have acquired a, uh, a GoPro Hero 5 session, which um, yeah, I'm still trying to get to grips with. So at the moment we're here on sort of high resolution fisheye effect. So you're getting a wide view <coughs> of the area, of our filming place of my office, of where I do my work. So welcome to that. So, but first of all, I just want to say thank you to all of our people uh, who have joined us throughout the last 10 weeks. We greatly thank you for your support. Um, we have 51 people from all over the world. Yes, we do have a large following from here in Mexico and we are working on doing translations for each of the videos just so everybody knows the uh, community contribution links are open for all of the videos for anybody who wants to help with the translations or with the closed captioning in English. All of the videos are open for that so if you want to please head on over there to each of the videos and help us out with your linguistic skills. But of course, we still do need to try and grow the channel as best we can so that the whole world can become aware of all of the great wines down here in Mexico. This means that we still need your help. The first objective we need to get to is 100 subscribers. Why 100? Because this is the first requirement that YouTube places so that we can change our channel URL into a named channel URL. That is to say that it makes it far easier for people to find us the algorithms within YouTube help give us a boost when people are looking for Mexican wine and it may, just makes it easier for people to, to find the channel and for the channel to grow. It's, it's quite as simple as that. So, to each one of our 51 subscribers, um, we only need another 49. So if you have a friend who is also interested in wine and they have a YouTube account, then let them know about us. Hopefully they will subscribe too, and we can soon reach that 100, uh, that 100 mark. Um, in terms of the viewership, I've been looking at the data, and we do have views from all over the world. So that's not just Mexico, Canada, and, Canada, and the USA. We also have viewerships in the Netherlands, in the UK, Ireland, France, Malta, the Czech Republic, Slovakia, Poland, South Africa, India, Indonesia. So. Even though they're still in small numbers, there is interest in Mexican wine and people are looking for it. Obviously, Mexico is a great tourist destination and the more that we can make people aware of Mexican wine, then the more demand there could be. Okay, after speaking with uh, one of the winemakers from one of the, uh, the wineries up in the Baja California the other night, I am, of course, aware that a lot of wine producers here have limited production. They are not large-scale commercial wineries. These are boutique, high-quality wineries that are producing excellent wines currently in smaller numbers. And he was concerned about the reasons why I'm doing this. I am simply doing this so everyone is aware because this is a personal journey for me, a personal journey to discover and learn about wine here in my adopted country of Mexico so that I can help open the market to those who do not speak Spanish because, to be honest, and as I've been told by um, small friends at other wineries up in the Baja California, there is nobody out there on YouTube or anywhere else on the internet talking about Mexican wine, dedicated to talking about Mexican wine in English. Anyway, there's a few programs here, there's a few programs there. It's a novelty. Oh look, today we're going to look at Mexican wine. There is nobody actually doing this. so. I've been told that this is helpful, and as long as it is helpful to the guys up in the Baja California, to the guys in Aguascalientes, to the wineries all over the country, then I will keep doing this, because it is a personal journey for me. I am learning about this, I want to help to increase the recognition of the wine industry here, and also to increase my own knowledge, and okay, let, let's be honest, 
it's a good excuse for me to open a bottle of wine on a Friday night. And if I get to share that experience with you guys out there, then why not? Because as I keep saying, wine is about sharing and that, that's what we're here to do. And look, if, if we can build a YouTube channel around this at the end of the day, then that is also to my benefit as well. But it is also to the benefit of you guys as you get to know more and more about possibly some wines and some regions that you weren't aware uh, existed and it is also good to the wineries that are starting to open their doors because I said as I said to uh, the winemaker the other night if it even helps to bring 100 extra people from wherever into Mexico into the Baja California into the wine tourist industry then that is a bonus for everybody it's a bonus for me it's a bonus for the winemakers and let's face it it's a bonus for the people going there trying the wine so that that is, that is why we're doing it um, as for me, <clears throat> I have said this multiple times, I am not a sommelier, I am not a trained wine taster. I am simply a connoisseur, as I like to say, a, <sighs> well, a consumer of wine who likes to try different things and at the end of the day just likes good quality wine in a good setting with good people and good company. And that is it. It's a personal journey for me. I am learning as well and I hope that you guys are learning as well. So, recapping. We are getting new technology, we are going to improve the audio, I have just ordered the, it's like a plug that goes into the side of the, the GoPro, somewhere here, and I stick my, where's it going? That's not how you hear it. I stick my microphone into it, okay, and I'm going to need to get a new connector because, well no, it might work, we'll see. We'll see. I'm going to get a new um, microphone, so this will improve the audio and hopefully make this like a dual quad channel stereo with super bits and pieces. Um, the resolution obviously is better, the stabilisation is better, we are working on the lighting and positioning so please let us know. Does this position work for you? Do you like the one where you're seeing me here? Do you want just a plain white background? I mean, whatever you want, we can work with this. Um, a nuestros amigos que están en el norte, en la Baja California o en Zacatecas o todos los viñedos en todo, toda la República. Si te gusta este vi eh, video y quieres compartir con tus compañeros, um, si tú crees que ellos van a tener un valor para hablar con nosotros, o, o si tú quieres avisarnos acerca de un producto que tú tienes, que quieres poner en nuestros videos, o quieres que nos, eh, nosotros hacemos una, una revista, una revista prueba de tus productos, avísanos por favor, yo puedo ir a mi probador para buscar este vino, este vino en específico y si, sí, si sí, vamos a hacer un programa uh, especial por este producto, por el momento yo estoy, um, yo necesito ayuda con otra gente que entiende más de esta industria para saber cuáles productos hay, qué vinos hay, qué viñedos hay. Um, tenemos muy buenos enlaces con La Contra y con otros amigos aquí en Guadalajara. Pero también estamos iniciando con enlaces en la Baja California y en otros lugares estoy trabajando, iniciando las los relaciones entre nosotros aquí y los proveedores y los productores, los viñedos. Entonces, si quieres crear una relación con nosotros, por favor envíame, envíame un, un correo o envíame un mensaje privado y sí, sí podemos platicar y si es una plática sobre una botella de vino, entonces mejor. Ok, so I hope that covers everything that we want to get through here today. So for this week we will be coming back with another, another little sit, which is the small programs of small bite-sized information about all of the wineries here in Mexico. And then of course on Friday we shall return again where we will continue our series of wineries outside of the Baja California. I haven't decided which, however, I'm probably going to go to the 100% Merlot in Zacatecas. Okay, so um, I hope this is helpful to you. Uh, please comment, let us know what you want to do. Even if you just pass by, please leave a comment. Let us know where you're from, and let us know what you think. Um, don't forget to tell your friends, please help like and subscribe, and we shall see you again later in the week for some more Vino Mexico. <laughs>